am an utter I'm in utter shock right now. I am in shock. What a championship game. Ah! I can't believe I won. I can't believe I won. I thought for sure I'm down by 40 points. I'm thinking, okay, I need 25 from Gore, 15 from Gonzalez, 10 from about 10 from my kicker. I didn't think that was going to happen. No, I mean, you know, and my stoop, my I tried to gamble, thinking Matt Schaub's available. He's playing in the dome against the Broncos. He is starting. You know, he should get a lot of points. So I'm going to risk it because Romo's playing in Washington. Sure, it's a bad defense, but the weather's going to be bad supposedly, and it was after a while. Whew. But Schaub sucked. I was thinking he was going to get 25, 35 points. He only got 16. And then I picked up Andre Caldwell because Welker's not there, so I thought Caldwell will be that other go-to guy. He'll get probably 10 to 15 points. He got me three. So I was like, crap, if I would have left Romo and I was going to play Charles Clay, if I would have played Romo and Charles Clay, that would have been a 14-point difference. It would have made it a lot closer. I was down by like 12 points, thinking, crap, that's how it's going to end. I'm down by 12, and I could have I won if I would have had the lineup that changed. But I had a last-second touchdown from Frank Gore, who got me 22 and a half. I had another really last-second touchdown from Tony Gonzalez. Tony Gonzalez, my boy, my man crush, my chief. He got me 20 points. And then Phil Dawson. Bust out 12 points. Bring it on, Brecken. Yeah! And that gave me the win. Touchdown, Tony Gonzalez. Oh, my gosh, I won. Now, I don't know if my jinx worked or not because I sent Eric a text saying with, like, I'm down by, like, six points. I sent Eric a text saying, well, it was close. My gamble didn't work. Congratulations. And honestly, I thought I was done for. I mean, there's only four minutes left in the game. The 49er defense is going to play tough, but wow. I can't believe it. And I ended up winning 135 to 126, basically. I can't believe it. Woo! Who's the champion in this league? That's right. Now, I know you're saying... Captain Insano is probably still thinking, man, if my team would have showed up, I would be the champion again this in this league. Because you scored 143 points and beat the Chefs. The Chefs, where did the Chefs go? He scored 90 points. The Chefs had a horrible game from Carson Palmer, but I would not have played Carson Palmer. I don't know if what was available, but Carson Palmer was already dinged up. <laughs> I don't know how the Cardinals beat the Seahawks either when Carson Palmer throws four interceptions. Nuts. Um, and Cam Newton had a horrible game too. He only got 18 points. I don't know how you got 143 points. Pierre Garçon and LaShawn McCoy were your workhorses. Two guys. See, that's what I keep saying. As long as two guys on your team can blow it up, get you 30 points, you have a good chance. And everyone else just gets 10 to 15, you have a good chance of winning. Look at that, 143 points, and he won. Calvin Johnson for the Chefs, chokes again. Jordy Nelson, ever since Aaron Rodgers got hurt, Jordy's been just not heard of. Mike Wallace has been a bust all year. He's had like two or three good games all year, and that's it. The Chiefs defense went from an average of 15 to 25 points a game to like five points, eight points a game maybe. Now, last week, yeah, they blew it up, but back down to two. Let's see. Jordy Nelson, you benched Anquan Bolden over Jordy Nelson, knowing Jordy Nelson isn't going to have Aaron Rodgers thrown to him. It wouldn't have mattered anything. I'm just saying I wouldn't have done that. I want to see if Eric could have played anyone different. Joe Bell, that's the only guy, really. Who would have thought Joe Bell? Well, I mean, Joe Bell is going to have a good game, but Jamal Charles, Ryan Matthews, Danny Woodhead, I would have started those guys too. So, Eric, you played your best lineup. 
good year for you, Eric. I think this is your first year being in the playoffs. You got like literally that close to winning the whole thing. But I prevailed, went from second place last year in the league to now the champion. Woo! Okay, enough screaming. I know you guys don't want to hear that. Okay. Toilet bowl. Oh, wait. Did I do third place? Yeah, toilet bowl. The packet rockets beat the dirty engines. Matt came close. No cigar. Josh Cochran, you came up and f won your money back. Congratulations. Do you want me to hold on to it <laughs> for next year? 52 points from Peyton Manning and 27 from Donald Brown and 24 from Zach Stacy. And that was it because the rest of you guys, almost, almost all of them had single-digit numbers. Wow. You, you had a very – I'm glad you won your money back. You know, you had a very – hard year, because I'm pretty sure, I can't remember, because you've dropped them all, so I don't know who was on your team, but I know you had at least two, if not three studs that you drafted go out for the year. I can't remember if I had Reggie Wayne, or if you had Reggie Wayne, maybe you had Julio Jones, I don't know, Doug Martin, I can't remember, but I do remember that that you're, you, you had a rough year with injuries, so I'm glad you won your money back. The uh, Pickums. I'm pretty sure the Pickums is uh, Captain Insanos, right? Captain Insanos won by five points. It was a nail biter for the most part, and then all of a sudden this game, and last week, this week, and last week, he blew it up. So Captain Insanos, you got third place, and you won a Pickums. Man, that's not too shabby. You know, you won your money back, and then some. Now we just got the fantasy NFL playoff to go. Now, also, two things I want to throw at you. If you even watch this video. Even if you watch this video this long. Next year, I had two, idea, two options, two things to point out. One scoring change that I'm thinking about doing. I never thought of until now. It involves the defense and special teams. Why do defense and special teams not get deducted two points if they fumble it? You know? If a punt returner, kick returner, run the ball back, and then they fumble it and lose it, they should get negative two points for that. Just like the individual player will get that that individual player will get negative two points, but the defense special team should too. Also, if a defense gets a fumble or an interception, they get two points for that team, but then they fumble it away and lose it, they should also lose two points. So I'm thinking of adding that next year to make that fair. Second, I'm thinking the toilet bowl, if you guys, doesn't this sound a little more fun for the toilet bowl? I know it's a toilet bowl, but hey. Um, instead of a toilet bowl playoff, the teams that don't make it to the real playoffs will go to a consolidation round where the six teams will play weeks 14, 15, and 16, and your total combined points the team with the most total combined points of those weeks will win the toilet bowl. So that way, all six teams get a play till the very end and have a chance. So I think I might do that. You know, I think it sounds a lot, a lot funner. Anyway, um, don't forget to make your pit, your uh, set your roster after next week when the playoff teams are set. Go to the website that I sent out to everyone. I'll probably send them again and again. And you got till January 4th to go to waivers and pick your lineups and go to submit lineup and submit them in your lineup. Only nine players, guys. That's about it. Um, I hope the Chiefs can wake up from their funk of playing good teams that they can't beat. But we'll find out. Um, that's it. I can't, I, I, I've had a great year. Obviously, I had a great year. I won the league. I also won my other Keeper League, my Keeper Auction League. I won that, too. I won the Toilet Bowl in my sn other Snake League. Yes, I do suck also because I sucked in my other Auction League. I got, like, two wins out of the whole year. So I do suck, but I also do do rule in a few, you know, couple times a year. So I won two leagues and won a Toilet Bowl in another. I'm having a – I'm happy. I'm having a good year. Am I having a good year, Brecken? Don't believe me. You don't believe me. All right. Anyway, 
I'm having a good year. Me, 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 me. Bye.